<sighs> but, for that. Yep, Boris for gone right there. For that, though, we're gonna go to Halcyon Mains and go talk to Sid. So that's why it felt like he was doing so much more damage. I wasn't supposed to be there yet. So as with everything in my crappy life, get it out of order. As I always freaking do. Why do I always do things out of order? You didn't look it up. Or you didn't... Um, actually, in this case, you didn't double check the map. What does it say on the chair? Ifri, any idea? It says chair. I see nothing like it. Only that it bears a resemblance to the Shenlong glyphs we're looking for. Let's keep those shapes in mind. Well, seems like you little ones are destined to find my hidden treasures. So, excuse me. I'm yeah, she's got she got nothing good on offer, so it's like, is is it only good for talent points? Like, I wish this thing exploded every freaking, after every hit. And not just, like, when it freaking wants to power up the attack, like, once every, like, ten seconds or so. Alright. Well, let's go to the freaking forest for God. Yeah, he, see, so this is why I wish... It actually told me the names of the areas I went in, and I didn't have to find that guy and have him, like, update my map and tell me what the names of the areas are. You know? Apparently, that was, like, new. It didn't really do that before, so I guess we should be lucky it was that. What was new? Uh, about the map updating. It would have to. How it would have to. How else are you gonna have the names of the areas? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure how it was before, but they had talked about patch notes about the map. So something that it was before is whenever you went to a new area, it, uh, it freaking. And I don't know why they would have patched this out, but whenever you went and entered a new area, it told you about like it kind of told you. It had the name of the area in unknown glyphs, but it also said a. It also had a level marker next to it, like level 47, to kind of tell you, like, roughly what level the enemies you can expect to find in there are. We're gone. You can't do anything with that. Like, which means I don't know how to get up there. Unless the boss is down there, but I don't think I can get down there either. This weapon's not bad. I can still do that.
Ah, this was yeah, this is how I get hit. The Torment Whip. What's that do? HP recovery plus four percent. Inflict bleed status effect. You know what? Let's upgrade that. I wonder how strong bleed will be compared to like that of poison. I was about to say. For someone that likes fisticuffs a lot, you sure do like your status ailments. <laughs> I mean, there's, 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 like, there's nothing wrong with putting poison on my hands and knocking people's teeth in. It's the job done, you know? And it's not just any status ailments. Just those that do passive damage. Yeah, I know. You you typically prefer poison. Poison. Oh, actually, in pretty much every game, the poison it's, it's like always the uh, better one. Also, there must be some sort of translation error in this game at the moment. Because <clears throat> this says, when attacking with this weapon, replace normal attack, crouch attack, mid-air attack, and move attack with the new weapon skill, Animal Slash. But my crouch attack is still the, the same. So my crouch attack didn't change with this weapon. Is it because it's not upgraded, or should it, does it not have to be upgraded? It doesn't have to be. It's already in green to show it's active. Hmm. Like, see if you can find it, like, find what the status ailments do. Because I had some daggers that said I can apply shock to enemies, but that never really occurred. <laughs> down here. What the hell do I do with this? Like, so that's something to slam down through, which means I guess that means that's not, not down there is where I get the L. Blah, 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 words. I don't get the ability to smash down through things from down there. Something to do. here because I went up here and then I decided to go back and I think I decided to go back down to finish exploring this area. That sounds like something I would do.
Oh, now we're going into fucking futuristic map of Forest of Argon? We went into the fucking broken down desert, and now we're into like this weird futuristic thing. Futuristic town, dear. I don't mind robots. Super fighting robot, Mega Man. Robot, Mega Man. Find a freaking safe space. Please be over here. This doesn't look like a safe space. After the new program was formally implemented, wasteland spread at an increasing rate. The nearby flora and fauna have been largely depleted, and the sand wind is getting stronger. What will come next? Is it really worth it to harvest life like this? We are at a crucial moment in the war. I hear the death toll on the front line is over half. Perhaps there's no other choice. A lot of cool shit in the background there. Sacrifice. The mysterious bounding. I don't know what all these fucking different stones do. Alright. Nothing you can really find about the status ailments. Yeah, of course not. Like the game's a week old, people have already hundred percent of it. Where's all the information in? Like I would suggest looking on their Steam page, but I don't know how effectively I, I mean I guess you can load up the Steam discussion page on your own. Yeah, I can actually. Yeah, I can look at that. They have like the Steam app thing I can look at. Alright, so this is where I'm supposed to be. Like, seeing all the. Whoa, that. General Grievous? Is that you, brother? Oh, he does so much more damage than that the other guy. Which is why I'm gonna get killed by him. <laughs> Gosh, their patch list is like a mile long. We must have. We must have missed a memo or something. What? Uh, they added special visual effects for enemies with a much stronger power level for players to recognize when they are under leveled. Well, here's the thing. I am pretty high level. Okay. Problem is, my armor kind of sucks. Oh. <laughs> my armor's like really bad and I haven't really been putting too terribly many points into my into upgrading your stuff into my defensive stats I'm 
tell like not too long ago. Ancient spiritual being. Wrong direction for the ancient spiritual meat. Oh, uh, I won't look at these, but the only thing I could find on Steam are the endings. Yeah, don't look at those. I won't, but that's the only thing I can find. Oh, wait, no, here's a walkthrough. I don't nope. need, I don't need Actually, a walkthrough, right. like... Let's go, let's go kill, let's go kill General Grievous. Mythical gloves. What are those two? Shattering <laughs> magic and casting spell. Let's see. Like the magic, the MP regen, like you can't really build that for super duper high level stuff. Hey, the plate of kingworm I can now smash. That means dear more backtracking so much shit has opened up to us now Baby Eterna Noctis. Where I don't need to actually freaking use the stupid arrow mechanic. Testing ring? What the hell kind of fucking accessory is that? Is that an accessory? Or is that a hat? I think it's a hat. Hmm. Like, the MP regen is not a lot. But it makes my magic so much stronger. <clears throat> Testing ring. A weird-looking device with mechanical holders on it. Wearing it makes your head a bit itchy. Feels like you just got more brain cells. <laughs> That's, pretty <great. laughs> That's pretty great, actually. I need MP regeneration. Like, 
I don't know if it's MP regeneration or MP recovery that I'd want more of. MP cost down. Where's MP when HP is restored? MP Put on the gray jade ring It doesn't recover my MP terribly quickly. Ah, Mimi. Mysterious bulb and a rainbow egg. Yeah, this game's got mimics, BT dubs. <laughs> through those colored barriers yet. Is there? Yeah, no, it's just to get up here. Can I smash this? Folk smash? No. Like, what is the purpose of being able to go up there then? Either way, now that we have this, we finally smash this and get whatever the hell's down here. The Holy Whip. Oh, that's totally not the fucking vampire killer from Castlevania here. Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. You sure? It was the weapon do, passed do, do, down in do. generations in a clan. It is said that the warriors of the clan were born whiplashers and used this secret weapon to kill evil spirits. You sure? You sure that's not the vampire killer? Because even the game says this is the fucking vampire killer. <laughs> <laughs> like, even the game says this is the boy. 
Uh, in addition to how good this game looks, they put a lot of care into like the references and stuff. It's pretty solid. It's pretty slim down. As we said before about some other games, it's obvious that they they cared about this game. Yep, they they cared about the franchise that Metroidvania spawned from. You know, Metroid and Castlevania. They th they're throwing in a bunch of references to one of the best Metroidvanias of all time, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So like, it feels like they're more than just game makers; they're game players too. Hello again, rescuer. Hi. What have you? You have grapes. And okay, so a few grapes, a few grains, a few dust. Ample more health potions. Hydro dust, fire dust. Ample more powerful health potions. Buy a flower badge. Flower bracelet, even though that's some weak ass shit. Oh, hidden. Oh, yeah, I already destroyed this hidden cash back here. I destroyed this hidden cash back here before we even rescued that guy. Poo poo snail. Alright. So now. We go to the Rainbow Plains and. Like, we have every. Like, we have all of our movement tools except for triple jump. So. We're gonna go all the way back to the start start of the game. Collecting shit. It up. Well, no, we actually don't have all our movement tools because there's a freaking stupid ass movement tool that lets us dash through these stupid ass barriers. We're definitely going to need that. Sure, if I actually like the damage on this holy whip or freaking not. I just feel like the poison mist from the other whip is just so much better. Finally, climb up and do some shit. Damaged mask piece. Moon shadow band. Pompeii's magic letter. We'll read that later. Weapon skill damage 4%, 12.9 defense. Nice chunk of max HP, but I lose a lot of magical damage, so. <laughs> even go up there yet. Possible. Ah, Luffy boy. All right. Should I never grab this? Yeah, this is one of the starting areas in the game. However, we're going through and going into areas we couldn't get into before in this area. Bad mage. 
supposed to battle me. Yeah, we never came back here with wall climb or multi jump. I don't think we came back here with air dash. Oh, and okay, so that's what the key goes for. Okay, so we didn't need wall climb to get up here. We just needed freaking double jump and stuff. <laughs> it looks so goofy. Whee! Splat. So that there is a reference to, um, oh my god. Oh my fucking god, what's that game? Oh my god, what is that game called? Mexican Metroidvania, what the fuck is that called? Think, think, think. Shooting the gang. Guacamole. That slam down is a reference to guacamole, where you body slam 